We've done a lot of videos and I've never heard Stacy use the expression as she so just did of this is cuckoo good. <laughs> so that's like the highest praise from us. And I know how much you care about decorating every little moment, whether it's your closet, your bathroom, your living room. Everything can be beautiful. Everything can be beautiful, but you don't take it too seriously. Well, it's just stuff at the end of the day and I feel like there are just bigger things and more important things. and. I think when you when you work in a world of objects and stuff, you realize that you can replace absolutely everything. The kind of joie de vivre that you have here, that you're able to put red next to pink, you, you, you've got patterns that don't necessarily go together, that look completely at home. How do you do that? Do you just, how do you get fearless? I, you know, I think it's just the gift, you know, we all get our, our talents and um, I know where to put things in a room, <laughs> which is, um, a useful talent in decorating, but I feel like it's either this or taking tickets to the movie theater for me. Um, I always believe in decorating your door. It's sort of an oversight that I think a lot of people miss, and it often ends up as just being trim color. But if you pick it out in a different color, or a fabric, or upholster it, it can be such a little statement in a room. Um, I've upholstered doors in zebra hide and um, satin and lacquered them in strange colors and I'm, it's it always makes everybody happy oh here is your cubist pattern for Schumacher now I get to see it in situ it thank, is incredible thank you um inspired by Picasso and cubism I, I always wanted something sort of graphic and cut up and I could never find it in the fabric world so Fortunately, Schumacher came to the rescue. It's like a little painting in a room. It's a painting in a room. Now, did you have this fabulous sofa made? Which, by the way, is the ideal blue. It is the ideal blue. That should be like the paint chip called Ideal Blue by Miles Red. Thank you. Um, you know, I always go to the upholsterer and I take all the cushions off of their existing sort of samples and models. And then I sit in the sofas and I say, oh, I like everything really low and deep. And that's how the sofa came about. My house is a laboratory and I use, I use it to experiment and try different things and one of my sort of, I guess, inventions is sort of putting four inches of glass on the ceiling as a sort of finish to a crown molding and I love that detail. I do like the reflective quality of glass and I will always use that as a sort of a foil in my interiors. Miles, okay. How do you ever leave here? I would like a microwave in this room and I'm good to go. And a hot plate. And a hot plate, um, yes. I, it's, this is one of my crazy ideas, but it's a great way to wake up in the morning. The bathroom is from a, um, a David Adler house in Chicago. And I saw it in a salvage warehouse and I put it back together in this bathroom, but it's exactly the same as it was in Lake Forest. I have this theory that the things that come to you in your life, they're meant for you. And I think David Adler said, oh, Miles, he's gonna get this mirror back. This is for him. Let's let's let him have it. As you can see, I definitely believe in salon style art hanging, um, mainly because I I see so much art and I am a avid collector. I have to fit it all in. But I think if you have a consistent eye, you can pretty much work in everything from the Paleolithic period to the 21st century. And I hope we've achieved that in this house. Gil Schaefer, who is an architect I, I very much admire, 
helped me with the facade. And I noticed in the video that y'all did of him, he was talking about our collaboration on his country house and the Greek key. And I just think it's so funny that the Greek key element is what he used on the, the overdoors of my front window. So it's funny how like great ideas all flow into one another. And I really couldn't have done it without him. I was spending a great deal of time in my office and I thought, you know what, I've got to improve my quality of living. Decorating is really all about quality of space and I wanted my office to be a beautiful representation of the things I love. And so it really is an extension of my home and a, and a great laboratory and an example for, for my clients to see things that some of my harebrained ideas that sound crazy but can be fantastic. So Miles, it would appear that we are in another fabulous sitting room in your townhouse, but we are not. Yeah. We are in your office. And it has to be the only office in Manhattan with... Green velvet walls? Yes. I love upholstered walls. It just makes you feel like you're in the womb again. I, I can't even tell you how much I, I love it in here and how lucky everyone is here to work inside your... We spend a lot of time here, so might as well make it nice. So my office is my real laboratory, um, and we have a lot of examples here that we did on purpose so that it would help clients understand things. Wall-to-wall uh, -wall sisal is something I love with old rugs layered on top. That's a, a great decorative device that people sometimes are afraid of. Um, upholstered walls, um, everything from my Schumacher fabrics to my Ballard tables to a Formica kitchen that's edged in nickel. There are just a million ideas and a million examples, and it's really helped as a wonderful tool, and we're glad we have it. So, Miles, we're in your conference room in your office, and it's surprisingly quiet. serene and quiet. Well, I think you need to balance spaces, and like, while the sort of main room in the, in the emerald green velvet is sort of rich and glittering, I wanted something cool and airy as a juxtaposition to that room. And I think that when you have spaces like that in an office or a house, it gives you a sense of balance. Um, I always think decorating comes from the tension of disparate elements. And whether it's mirror next to rough pine or 18th century, you know, consoles and modern art, it's that juxtaposition that's always really interesting and what I'm always trying to do in decorating.